Everybody knows that I'm breaking down Everybody knows I ain't faking now Everybody knows my heart's vacant now Yeah, she hates me now, I made mistakes, but now I don't ever wanna be alone I don't really ever feel at home On my own, in the zone That's the only way I know Feeling low, about to blow back up I won't ever let the doubt creep in Gotta pop a couple more aspirin I don't think I'll ever let you in Easier to break it off, best friends I don't really understand myself I don't really understand, need help I don't wanna be left on the shelf Couldn't even hear me if I yell it's so cold outside I'm alone, I'm alright It's so cold outside I'm alone Always feel like I could break now, but I never let it on to come eventually. <laughs> uh, what uh, today, hello guys, welcome back to what if uh, to undo uh, what if today we have what if soccer had star powers basically, a what you can call kind of a series of me just giving Naruto Sasuke and soccer power, power some bleach. Funny enough, this is originally supposed to be with soccer at Askin's powers, but um. <laughs> I I then took one good look at his power list and realized that most of his powers wouldn't work in Naruto. <laughs> Cause most of them revolve around poison. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get straight into it, shall we? Hopefully this goes better than my first where I ended it abruptly and truly do regret that. <laughs> Alright, obvious changes. Stalker is born more to look like Well, Stark with the number one on the back of her right hand, right? That's his right hand. Also eventually born with a sword and has a bit of a mask under her neck because why not? So where our changes truly starts is, um, of course the bell test. Oh wait, never mind. I have to give some background info. Alright, I think y'all know by this point, I'm born with a certain ability, Cero, Hiero, Sonado, <laughs> basically most of the stuff Sasuke has, except soccer is born stronger, and like it much like in canon, doesn't train at all. Especially since he would be born, well, very powerful in this time, the preview roll on the next spot here. Okay, now going on to the bell test. Also, I will be dropping some references to start. Anyways, when it's Sakura's turn to, you know, go at, at Kakashi, she would easily, um, well, she would easily appear beside Kakashi and take the bells and before he could react and would get away. And give, and would give a bell to Sasuke. Ironically, still letting the team pass in the end. Because of a show of teamwork. Moving on. Alright, we all know the start of the Land of Waves arc. Um, the ties in the mission, so let's hop straight into the fun stuff. The Demon Brothers are basically easily taken out by Sakura alone. <laughs> with her just appearing beside them and easily knocking them out. Um, Kakashi, Kakashi versus Sabasa still happens, and that remains the same as, um, Zabasa still sets up that water clone, which Soccer would easily obliterate with a Cero, and would get behind Zabasa, firing another Cero, which, has set, which would hit him into the second existing Cero from before, which would heavily damage the guy. Also, this would free Kakashi, just wanted to add that. And the masked man still comes, or woman. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a man. The masked man still appears, wonder who he is. And does the whole thing with Zabuza and still takes him away. 
For me, Kakashi's training of the group basically remains the same, so let's get straight into the fight on the bridge. During the fight, Sakura would try and go get Sasuke, oh, sorry, not go get Sasuke, try and go assist Sasuke, but Kakashi would tell her to go get Naruto, seeing as she get, she is fast enough to do that. Oh, I'm sorry, not go get Naruto, get Tazuna to a safe place. Well, tell not teleporting, just, well, seems like teleporting, I'm just gonna say. So, Nato and Tazuna to his house, he, she, would, uh, she would encounter Naruto and also bring him to the battlefield. See? As um, they would go and assist Haku, uh, not Haku, as the two would go into the ice bears to assist Sasuke. Um, Naruto and Sasuke relatively take the same damage, although um, Haku isn't able to damage Sakura at all. And she would fire one big serial to destroy every ice mirror there. <laughs> Naruto and Sasuke would take their opportunity and would start attacking Haku, who would eventually get the two off of him and try, try making the hand signs for the ice mirror jutsu again. However, uh, Sakura will come in and slice off the guy's arms. Unfortunately, not a woman. I'm sorry, not arms. Her hand, uh, his hands. From here, the rest of the arc goes in canon with Haku still sacrificing himself, although not grabbing Kakashi's hands since no, well, um, hands. <laughs> And that will end off the first part of this what if. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, well I already said hopefully you enjoyed. So see you guys next time.